previously on the NoVP channel. <laughs> and coming up. I don't know if John Paul is. Was John Paul a Beatle? Jean Paul Gautier. One of the Beatles, John Paul II. I don't know who that is, something. I find you very rude. <laughs> The Novimpia Chanel is made possible by our gorgeous patrons who get access to the most unappealing crap you'll find anywhere on the whole internet. Start the shit show. Testing, testing, yeah. Testing, testing, yeah. Hello and welcome to this Novimpia treat, starring you girls, Novimpia, Olympia, and the bitch who, and what time is it now? It's like seven o'clock, has been listening to Steps since about two. So during makeup today, I got, because we share an email address, which is so, that's gay, isn't it, that? Oh, that's, that's pretty gay, sharing an email address. Well, we share an email address because of YouTube. Well, and a badge, that's probably more gay. <laughs> well, during makeup, I got a, a notification through because you're seeing steps and they were like, oh, here's your e part. Eh. Oh, did they? Here's your e-ticket. Oh, I should have deleted it. Just a bit of admin before we get started. Nova and I are wearing uh, black hair today, which means mm. that there might be a dark lace, which you might save yourself some time and energy by not commenting on because we couldn't give a fat fuck. You never really know what colour the lace is going to be. Well, mine it's actually a bit of a gamble. pretty good. Yours is dreadful. Right. No, no I one cares. I won't touch your face. Though. We don't. No one cares. No one cares. We don't care about that. So anyway, ah, oh, today, Nova. There's a nice little noise removal around your mouth. Why? Oh, it's just a bit um. Noise removal. Oh, I thought you meant audio noise. Don't just don't talk about. Just don't talk to me today for the rest of the day. With thanks to Rachel Maxey because we are just flat out stealing this concept from her. And I'm, I'm sure, sure it's not original. She would to have her. taken it from someone else. But that is where we found it. No one cares. Anyway, it's just so hubristic. It's the ultimate kind of ego trip that we're YouTubers doing, asking people what they think about. I mean, this is honestly such a wank fist. But anyway, we've done. No, it. but I think it will be really interesting to see. Actually. So we put stories. What's that? What is that? Oh, there's a big yellow stain on the floor. Under, sort of half under the rug. At first I thought it was like, you know when you stare at a light for too long and you get like an after image of it on your eyes? No, I it's thought anemic. it was that. Baby piss. We should put some marbles on the floor and see if they all gather over it. No. And then you pull the rug up and you just see a big mouldy ring. Um, we hopped onto Instagram and asked our followers, what are your assumptions of us? The whole point is that you just see what people kind of think about you in real life, like how they would think you would operate in real life. Yeah. I guess is the point, mm. because you don't really know. You're watching this and we could be like, what? We could secretly be like Nazis or something. We're not. No. <laughs> That's what you'd say if you was a Nazi, isn't it, sir? But my point, st the point remains. They don't know, they haven't got a clue. You might be Australia for all they know. Oh. Now, is your, are you wearing any dangly jewelry, jewelry today? I don't think that's going to make a sound. You come as that one chick from Little Mix. Absolutely, you don't want that. Yeah, yeah but like the inverted version. Big Mix. Pick a mix. Not this. Shit tip. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I've not seen all well, of what? these today, and I've just seen. Have like, you looked really through some of yours? Because I have, and mine's I quite did, dark. I did last night, but this one's not good. I don't know if we get. I don't. I don't really know if I really want to put this on yeah, camera, yeah, but I'll just show it. you anyway. No, say it. Say it. No, go on. Say it. No. All right. Here's the first one. Then, <laughs> if it was sent to Nova, I, I'm not going to say who it is because I. Oh, you. It's like. Doxing. No, what's is it doxing? Well, a little bit. Exposing. Um, but somebody is straight away, just a great way to kick this off. I feel like you have very pretty feet. Um, I think Nova has very pretty feet. Nova has, um, I like to call her big toe a mushroom toe because it looks like a big toadstool because it's very thin at the base and then huge at the no top. No one wants Anatomically on weird. Feet. But it's very sweet feet. Feet fungus. You've got nice feet, I think. My first one here comes from somebody called Charity Case. <laughs> I don't know, I've never heard of her. <laughs> don't know who that is. <laughs> okay, I've never heard of her. Charity puts, you always need the toilet and snore really loud. 
well, someone's been watching our channel. I mean, <laughs> clearly. Yeah. Thanks for <laughs> thanks for tuning in, Charity. Maybe she'll make a name for herself one day. I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, yes. No, I don't. I do need to piss a lot. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Well, yeah. you've discussed that in great length. But before. she snores more than I do recently. Well, because I've been ill, as the viewers all know. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Tom says um, he assumes that I'm quite short. I'm not, I'm actually pretty tall. Nave is very similar actually in height to me. I'm probably like just, just under six foot. Who cares? I thought you were, I thought you were over six foot. No. When we're sitting down, I, you can really see the height difference because I often have to sit on a, on a pillow. Something about a pillow. Is that how she killed you? I am taller and I'd probably and your hair is have higher hair, higher, but that, yes. yeah, but you're similar, similar height though. I'm Very not that similar. much taller. Sometimes if we have a picture together and you have a higher heel, people will send me a message and say, I feel really like fucked up about this because I thought you were much taller sort mm. of thing. Okay. Well, we're going to start apparently with these light ones. <laughs> that aren't about your personality, because some of mine are really dark. Oh. Um, this person here, Autumn, has put, Pussy listen. <laughs> now, Pussy listen, this is what I... <laughs> Paul Housby mm. has said, you're a filthy bastard in the boudoir. <laughs> I... I mean, you have to ask I mean, that. like, the boudoir might be filthy. Like, I haven't cleaned it. Yeah. We, we clean it, though. That's not what they... That's not right. I'd say fairly vanilla. Um, I wouldn't say filthy bastard, no. Not like redacted. Well, <laughs> redacted. I can't say redacted because you don't know who I mean. But obviously I'll- re I feel like I know who yeah. you mean. Yeah. But I'll, I don't know what, what do I give off though that suggests that? Apart from just a raw sexual allure. Um, I've got one from somebody here. Um, Charity case? Oh, is stop it. it. No. And Charity says, you love bubble tea and bubble waffles, anything food related with bubbles. I, I, I do like, like bubble, bubble tea. tea yeah. It's, where, is it, where does it originate from? I don't know. Is it Korean or Japanese? Well, I don't know, but I imagine it would be some sort of culture that you're trying to appropriate. <laughs> Look inside yourself, Simba. You are more than what you have become. You must take your place in the circle of life. I feel like it's probably Japanese, but I don't, I don't know. It might be Korean. I do like bubble tea. I'm not like massive on waffles. That's so funny. I What's do like a bubbles, bubble so. waffle? What the fuck's that? They're like waffles, but instead of squares going like recessed into them, it's like circles going out. Oh, that makes me feel a bit squeamish. I don't know what that's about. I don't like that. I don't want that. I don't like that. I don't know what that is. I don't, I don't like that at all. Not at all. A, a natural the moon satellite. Is a natural but satellite. things live on it. That, that means mean? it's a planet. Is that know. what Google said? I don't know what no, it says. No, I don't says. like that at all. I don't even Me know what either. that means. Here's one from Valakor. Classic pretty gay, bottom, super left wing, prefers actions to theory and learning slash study. Incredibly patient. Incredibly pa Someone thinks you're incredibly patient. Yes. That sounds like a, uh, what's the word? A horoscope. <laughs> Yeah, it does sound like that. Or some sort of dating profile. Wait, let Prefers me say that again. actions to theory and learning slash study. Yeah, yeah you don't, I would say that. You don't I, put the research in, you just go for No, it. no, no, like. Just like I should, I'll get you good. I feel, I feel like that means that you learn through practical um, methods rather than theory and, and study. And I do, I'm, I'm much better at actually watching someone do something or, or being coached physically doing something than reading about it and learning about it in theory. Or you're just a hothead. Right. Which I think you are a hothead, certainly. But also, least patient person I've ever known you. That is not true. Oh! 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 I feel... Oh. Oh. <laughs> feel I, I just... Flames! On the side of my face, breathing, breath... Heaving breath. I don't allocate patients willy-nilly, but if you have my patience, you have it. You can't sit there on your donut bum hole <laughs> and, and lie to the I camera. I can be very patient when I want to when? be. When? Oh, bitch, where? Oh, not with me then. You're not if patient. only she knew. Bum. Oh, if what? Only what? she knew. Bum. That's bum. I'm sorry, I'm so angry no, about that. No, not bum. Yes, bum. No, not bum. No, bum. <laughs> A lot of these were like, you're a top, you're a bottom, which oh, I'm I've not got even... a lot. I've got a lot of those. It's so basic, like, who cares? Kitty Nehulihan. <laughs> <laughs> she says that you hate affection, you don't like PDA, and turn every intimate moment into a joke. 
No. I don't think that's true. Well, no, I, PDA, I don't care for PDA. I think you'd be correct in that sense. I'm not into holding hands. I find that gross, but yeah, that's just Yeah, just because that's like, that's like physically uncomfortable. I, in particular, like, we never walk next to each other. I will often just wander off. You, like, I can't, we can't be like, me in the we can't be like holding hands. I, I'm just like off at my own pace. Like, it's just a nuisance. I don't want to be like joined to you by the hand. You always wander off and then I have to get on the tannoy and say. <laughs> Attention, please. We have a lost child in the store. He will do it. Um, hello? Well, no, I don't mind other people. PJ out other people. It doesn't make me uncomfortable. But I'm not super into saying to every single fucking person every other m minute is like, I love you, I love you. People, you know, people say love you all the fucking yeah. time and it just has no meaning to Yeah. It. Shit like that. Someone has literally just written here, Avril Lasagna. Neva will argue a point if she feels correct and won't stop until you agree or concede. That now, let's yes. be honest, there's a little truth in that. Yes, yes, yes. Neva will argue a point if she feels correct and won't stop until you agree or concede. Yes. I will put my hands up and admit when I'm wrong, but if I feel like I know I'm right, then yeah, I won't, I won't stop. She won't stop. <laughs> she never sleeps. You and Nova never argue. I feel like you two actually have a very conflict-free relationship. Which my mother said this, didn't she? Yeah. Because we were bickering at the table at, at, in the restaurant. No. Never. Everybody Go near my husband. Ever. And she was like, oh my God, you two never bicker. Which you we might bicker find- all the time. <laughs> oh yeah, but bickering I think is quite fun. I don't know that we've ever really had a big argument. I've never felt the need to like storm out. We argued once or twice like in the- first couple of years that we were seeing each other and I think that's because it was it was normally alcohol bolstered yeah yeah so I, I and it would, it would just be because you were still a little bit in the student mindset and I'd never been a student so there was kind of that incompatibility for a while yes because of like two, coming from two completely different lifestyles and I feel like you grew up a little bit and I chilled out just a little bit and we kind of came a bit more into the middle ground. You say it. grew up though, but you had thought you were some sort of domestic goddess at like 19. And I was like, we don't need to fucking do that. Anyway, we're not going to get into it. <laughs> Justin Day 1467 has put sex reluctant. You come across as like a sexless cold machine, <laughs> which is not that from the truth. I don't think you do have a very metal like quality to you. What? Cause you, if you only had a heart, Greg O. Brewster says, oh. you pick on Nova for the things you're secretly insecure about. I generally find that I'm quite a secure person. I don't have many insecurities. I did for a very long time, don't get me wrong. You'd have to give me a specific because I can't imagine what. I think that was rude. Right. What do I, well, what do you think I pick on you for? I don't know, fucking everything. Well, that's, that's right. why, yeah, I, I, I don't like think like I'd so really vague. agree with that. So yeah, vague. it's a bit vague. It's basically, you you are mean or make fun of the people you love the most was was one of these which is i would say accurate it's like all we do is billy shah yeah absolutely all is we it's do just fun is make fun of our closest circle so that does but make it all sense. comes back like it's it's always works both ways so yes but that's what i mean when when someone said i'm insecure so i pick on you it's it's the other it's the opposite yeah it's like a love thing, yeah. I would say. So, all right, I you agree. do one then. Jackie Ripper says, Bart likes you more than Olympia. I don't know why, but I just get a vibe. <laughs> yeah, I could see that that would make sense because I've talked about hating cats for years. Yeah, I don't know if he likes me more. I think it's just that I'm usually the one that will feed him and I make more of a fuss over him. It's interesting though that you can't get him to come inside and I can. Yeah. I don't know, how, how do you know? Is there a measure <laughs> for that? You can't ask the fucking thing. I don't know. Copperbeard says, you really oh. like to talk through movies and TV shows. Absolutely not. No. <laughs> Absolutely not. Can you imagine? Oh, Charmaine is impossible to watch a movie with because all she'll do is talk and ask questions. And I, I'm not only that, like you. she'll if we don't if it's a movie that we've not seen before, she will just look up the ending. Oh, I think we've spoken about this curious. before. She looks up the ending. She doesn't like to be. Surprised. I think that's a really terrible thing to think about someone though. Think Copper about, beard think about how you're negative, presenting yourself. Negative, just obnoxious. <laughs> it depends though. If it's like the Halle Berry thriller. <laughs> do is talk if it's a group thing but if you're at the movie theater you'll never say i wouldn't say a word i wouldn't dream of it someone says here on um, instagram <clears throat> how clever is that yeah that is good instagram 89 oh. you've both been dismissed by other queens for being youtubers yeah 
No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No way, no way. Very, very rarely. Well, that we know of. We don't know what people say behind our backs. Well, but do you know what though? We used to be very bothered. We used to be very, very bothered about this. I think for a few years, it used to really grind our gears. Yeah, but now I don't think it really happens so much unless someone's like super jealous. Because I think now it's pretty well respected or more respected to be on YouTube. Whereas before, like, it was a combination of people didn't really understand it and there was such like a... People kind of looked at their nose. Well, I don't know necessarily if it was it. even that. I, I think from my understanding of this, is it's from the angle of like they would dismiss you as being a queen because we didn't like perform or like host a night or something. Yeah. I think for a while that bothered us. But again, we reached a point where I certainly, I feel like we're both kind of in the same arena now where we, we tend to really not care about things that kind of like would, would have bothered us in the past because yeah. we've literally just learned to let stuff go. You know, if someone if someone's gonna go on Drag Race, congratulations, shoot for the stars. But like, shit like that does not concern us anymore. So, I, yeah, I don't think anymore they would though, because people are generally quite kind to us now. I think. So. I think so. Yeah, I've got a good one. Oh, which is interesting. My 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 Ria, Mariah, Mariah. Maria, Garcia. You're more serious than Olympa because you're the oldest. Olympa. So, we've learned a couple of things from that one, haven't we? Um, you're older than I am. No. And that's why you're more serious. I am, I am a year am... younger than me. Aren't you a year younger than me? Two years. Shut up. Two years? Well, like a year and a half. Oh, I'm practically a cradle snatcher. It's <laughs> disgusting. A year and a half. That's not so bad. You have that's just... That's legal. You've just turned 31. Don't tell them! And I've just turned 29. Listen, so, you're yeah, going to be 30, yeah. you're going to be 30, and then you can experience it. everyone else saying to you, oh, you're so fucking decrepit. Up yours. Have what? you got anything to Oh, okay, yes. Oh, I haven't, I haven't been looking because I've been staring into your milky eyes. Oh, thanks. My milky's not really no, nice. Not. I did have one from a Roly Ungasha. Not sure. Don't know. Never met him. Don't know. Never heard of him. Um, okay, I've never heard of him. You've got gout. You know, I mean, Nova and I went to a, a bar the other night. We went to a bar. We were having a nice, quiet, romantic date, weren't we? And he would not leave us alone the whole night. He came over to us like a crazed fan and he wouldn't leave us alone. And he, when he bought and that frenzied blonde woman with him. What was her name? She was garbage. Oh. Uh, Lisanne? <laughs> Uh, we went out with Rolly and Luxeria. If you don't know who they are, well, you should do because they've got way a way bigger following than we do. But they're so much fun. Anyway, what did he say? Oh, gals. Gals, gals. Gals for one gals. People misread your confidence as arrogance. I haven't really had the confidence to wear one. I, I don't think. Don't I don't think so. Think so. I think if anything, people might misread of. my confidence as arrogance. I think you got a softer edge to it, whereas I can be a confidence bit of a cow. As arrogant. <laughs> Mm. I don't think I'm received as an arrogant person. I don't. Again, I though, we don't know. There. We don't know what what people don't tell us. So yeah, I, don't know. I mean, that, this person. This is Liam is camp. That's nice. Is not saying that they think I'm. No, no, no. That, it's that, what, but it's an that assumption that people yeah, think yeah. I'm arrogant. But then <clears throat> I'm not. A, I'm not as obnoxious out of drag though. I can be quite introverted and I could sort of like leave me alone and if I'm out in the street like headphones in fuck off kind of thing. Fuck off with that round my age. You've been politically engaged since you were quite young. Engaged to who? <laughs> I would say no. I can't think I'm trying to think of the first time I actually took an interest in politics because I don't know if I voted the first election I could. was able to. That's an arena where you might, it might be perceived as arrogance because you get very like Carol Radzeville about it sometimes. At least check out my great ass. God, you can understand why these are coming in thick and fast. <laughs> Nova's dreadful. Assumptions about Nova. She's Nova's dreadful. got gout. Oh, she ha you have got it. <laughs> Miss Fire the Queen says you're a golden gay and oh. never had sex with a woman. Oh. I did once. <laughs> And she, ah. lo she looks like Jade Goody. Stop it. I'm allowed to say that. Stop it. She did look like Jade Goody. Not only you fake, you're a liar. You have trouble standing up for yourself because you don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. No. 
What does that suppose to mean? I that think I think you're quite capable of standing up for yourself and do, would not care about people's feelings in the process. I guess standing up for yourself implies that you've been attacked. That, well, that's where I was going with that because I don't. Uh, if I get, if I'm in a social situation where I feel like something's going to get boring in the sense of like an argument, I just tend to leave and then never see the person again because I'm like they're a dickhead. Yeah. Whereas I, I feel like I'm getting better because I don't. I, I don't know. I just don't. I don't like to argue with people despite, <laughs> despite what people might think. Guys, it was all a lie. She lied. No, um, we just don't bother. Once upon a time, I, I probably would carry on and tell somebody exactly. If it's something super lame what and for? Pet, oh, I just because some people just love arguing, and you can see sort of stupid people love to yeah. argue, don't they? So you can sort of see it. It's happening. not worth the effort, though. And I just think like, oh, that's so boring. Yeah. Like, stick uh, stick your thumb up your ass. Yeah. And swivel, and then go home. Go on, Gail. Connor says you like to take control, but only because you want it done properly, so everyone can benefit. E yes, I think like is not the correct word, but I feel like I will often take control of things just because I can't bear the anxiety of somebody else doing it and fucking it up. So I'd rather know that if a mistake was made, I made the mistake, which kind of just adds to the anxiety. I don't know, it's a very strange thing. I don't. Do we want to tell them about changing the bedding? What relevance has that got? To do or me anything? putting all the, or hanging the laundry, because you have to have everything just so-so. Like I, I look after only, all the bills. Not only do I hate dealing with all that admin shit because I just get so flustered, I feel like you quite like it. I don't like it. I don't know if like is the right word. You I have just feel to, like you I have, have to do it. To do, yeah, like it it's all. yeah. Which works out well for me because then she does all that shit. But then sometimes it does leak into areas where it's like, honestly, if I hang a t-shirt up like this, it's still gonna dry. So chill out. Yeah, but it will dry, creased. It's a t-shirt. No one cares. Yes, you don't they iron do. it. You don't iron it. You're a crease. <laughs> I'm a Scorpio, so I have a big heart, but yet too fragile. There's nothing about you that's fragile. Hello, bitches. There's a lot of people here saying that they think I'm shy or that I'm an introvert. This, yeah, you're actually quite shy in real life. Well, I don't think we should, we're not shy, but we're certainly not, I don't I think, think we're introvert as, is correct. I have, definitely have introverted qualities to me, because sometimes I will literally like, if we sort of like, if we've had like a long day or something, I'll literally sit on the sofa and put headphones in and I just won't want to participate yeah. in anything. Yeah, and I, I don't and mind like, that at all. And then we'll like play game for yeah. ages. And we we can get like a whole day, we won't speak to each other. Well, we will not say a word <laughs> to each other, which works, like it's perfectly yeah. fine. So, I think I it goes back to what we were saying before, like, I'm not somebody who can just turn on like social modes like that. Like I'm not gonna impulsively go out to a party tonight if someone invites me. No, even if I'm free and could do it, I'm not mentally prepared for that. I'm not able to do that. I've all, I, in my head, I'm already, I already know I'm gonna cook dinner, I'm gonna do X, Y, and Z, and I'm, I don't wanna deviate from that routine. Wilhelmina Scream Cheese says, could organize a platoon if necessary. What's a platoon? I can say pants. <laughs> I can say pants. What's a platoon? It's one of those sandwiches where it's like. Like the game was Splatoon. Where you've got to like color the town. Stuff alone. No, not this. Oh, fuck me, Ken. What's a platoon? Is it like an army? It's a sandwich. It's like a really, really big sandwich with the ciabatta that you've sliced in half. What are you laughing for? I don't know what a platoon is. This simple country. I think it's a. I think it's a military thing. Organized like a platoon. squadron, something like that. I think so. Um, no, I don't. I don't think I could. If if I asked up to fifty people, like, we're going to war. Can I count on you? They'd be like, no. Because <laughs> you don't know 50 people. She just wanted to be heard. He wants me to go away. My wife was not supposed to have a child! All I ever wanted was you. Don't you understand, Rachel? But he doesn't know. She never sleeps. You take one person's tragedy and force the world to experience it. Infinity Blue says you'd be really fun to get drunk with. Am I really fun to get drunk with? No. I think I'm very fun. <laughs> It depends in which setting, because if it's in the house, it just means that you have to literally sit there and you, if you, you need to be presented with a notebook and, and then it becomes like a, a lesson in Korean history. 
I mean, I'm very happy that I now know who Um Jung Hwa is. Because I <laughs> love her with my whole heart. Watch me move. Watch me move. If you're in a club, you are quite frenzied. Because if I'm drunk in a club, I will find someone in the corner to talk yeah, to. Yeah, you kind of do the opposite, don't you? You go wild and you jump. I'm through. like, woo! You I'm, actually come I'm back like, and you're just like, Miley Cyrus is on, let's go dance to Miley Cyrus. I'm very Lisa Simpson as Paula Abdul. Where's the dog? I like dogs. Woo! Whereas I will, I will, I like to find someone and sit down and ask them really dark questions about themselves. <laughs> Are you an addict? You pretend not to be, but you're actually super sentimental and sappy. I think that's quite true. I think that's true. I, a, a few people have said shit like that. Yeah, which I suppose does lean into like the PDA stuff. We're not all over each other on camera, because who the fuck wants to see that? I can be very sentiment, very, I'm very sentimental, yes. Mm. I've got pictures of all my friends in my makeup room. I've got pictures of like all my friends all over the, all over the walls. Not a single one of your friends. <laughs> I mean, just there, you're I'm, right there. I'm there for a daily reminder. You're lying so. in the flesh. <laughs> it is a daily reminder. It's like that phone alarm I've got for the bins. It's very similar vibe. <laughs> You've got great low light vision. That's a very what strange does that one. Mean? I don't know. I've got great vision. Like a at rabbit. All. Yeah. Rabbits have good vision, don't they? No. Uh, yeah, I think because so. they eat carrots. Is that is that maybe make just a myth then? You eat carrots and then you get really great eyeballs. <laughs> Not true. My grandmother taught me that. <laughs> and then she died. I mean, I'm wearing contact lenses now. I've got really appalling vision. Terrible. She can't I'm see across the room. very short-sighted. Yeah, Mips. Um, for my glasses wearing people out there, if you want to have an idea, my prescriptions are minus, minus 4.75 and minus 5, which is not like blind, it's pretty bad, but it's pretty, it's pretty bad. bad. I assume your meal deal would be quite weird, like a chicken Caesar wrap with hard-boiled eggs or something. No, actually very, very safe. I used to really like a chicken Caesar wrap. Very well. safe. If I'm gonna have something with meat in it, probably like an all day breakfast, but they started doing those and they were like three and sometimes you just want something. I would usually go for like a cheese and onion hmm. if it's a sandwich or like egg mayo. Very safe actually. And then just crisps. Yours can be bizarre, especially where mung beans are concerned. <laughs> especially where tofu and mung beans are concerned. Bit of a clean freak. You're into desk and brush organizers and love a clean working space. I would agree with that up to a certain extent. I do have a desk organizer. In fact, my drag room's very, very organized. <laughs> Your approach to cleanliness and tidiness can be so bizarre because I, you sometimes are just like so chill and it's absolutely fine and it's like no one really cares. But then as soon as it's like one person's coming around for half an hour, it's like, oh my God, we've got to go in the attic and like hoover some weird tiny thing that no one's ever going to see and no one gives a shit about. Yes. And then you go to that person's house and you walk in and it's like a bucket of pearl before. And I'm like, why do we do all of that for them? They yeah, don't do it for us. Because we're cleaner, we're better. Don't say we're better. Yeah. Well, does the, well, does the Pope shit in the woods? I, I cleaned. Does the Pope shit in the woods? <laughs> That's not right. What's that? Does a that? bear shit in the woods or is the Pope Catholic? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know the Pope personally. What's the, who's the Pope? I don't think you've ever swept or mopped this house. Have you? Correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> I actually don't believe that. <laughs> You've obviously given me a really low score. <laughs> <laughs> I could have given you a zero. Because yours was i swept. Of course I've swept. I'm going to sweep you under the rug any fucking second. Who is the Pope? <laughs> you don't know either. He's the leader of the Catholic Church. No, not what is the Pope. Who is he? Who, if he walked in the door right know. now, would you be like, oh, you're the guy from next door? I wouldn't or give like, a shit. I'd be like, please take your shoes off. You're who, in our house. Who? Pope John Paul II. I don't care. He's the current Pope. John Paul II. Some lizard man in a hat. Put lipstick on your teeth. Little bit, just here. See, that's affection. <laughs> I don't know if John Paul is. Was John Paul a Beatle? John Paul Gautier. One of the Beatles, John Paul II. I don't know who that is, something. Jack Edwards, oh. you would prefer to be the funniest than the prettiest. Wait. <laughs> 
That's I feel true. like that it's true. true. Yeah, it is true. Yeah. I don't have much stock in the way people look. I would rather follow someone who looks like a fucking ankle. <laughs> but who was really interesting, yeah. which I don't know. Are you talking about like drag or just like in anyone, general? Anyone, I don't understand people's Instagram feeds that are just full of models who have got, yeah. have got all the fucking like mental capacity of like a, a used condom. Like what? what's the purpose of that? You're gonna enjoy out of it. If anything, all that's gonna do is make you feel shit because you don't look like it. I Why would you not follow someone who's fun? I completely agree. I do think for myself though, like in recent years, I'm finding more joy in how I present myself. I'm just finding that more interesting. Like what the fuck I, does that mean? Just like experimenting in drag or like wearing makeup as a boy or like doing my hair just a different playing colour around or, with it so it's not or so like strict. wearing something that I wouldn't normally wear. Yes. Well long time I haven't worn a skirt, I haven't really had the confidence to wear one. If this gets <clears> through to one person, you'll make yourself so much happier if you if you lose that kind of connection to shit that you think you should care about but you really don't care about. The way you look or the, your weight or whatever it is. Mm. Just like if you, you, people do a number on themselves that they have to look a certain way and behave a certain way. And the second you fucking realize that you really just don't have to, it really Do should, it should always yourself. be for you. If you think it looks fine, Hopefully then who cares? cares? Who cares? And if you want to try something on and wear something, go and try it on. If you like it, wear it. If you don't, then then don't wear it. Like Stop following like a James Charles type and start following like an Amelia Fart who's going to wear and do whatever she wants just yeah. because she feels free. Yeah. That's the kind of ideology you want to be kind of following. So I would, I would agree with that. I think that's quite a good one. Quite astute. Rosie Zamosky says that you make Olympia laugh quite a lot, even if she doesn't let on. I've been very smart with giving you your sense of humor because a lot of the times you'll make me laugh by referencing something that I know, oh, yeah. that you know I will find funny. <laughs> so, so you watch our references video and if, you know, we're watching, I don't know, if you've got fucking Aladdin or something, I'll be like, oh, magic carpet. And then you turn around and go, magic person. Like, you know that's going to make me laugh. So I've been very insidious with that. <laughs> Olympia is just an Australian version of Boy You. She's not an act or character. Hey, you don't know me. She's here now. It's <laughs> really frightening. She's here now. I feel like she's less of a character than she used to be. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't know if that's just because you've been doing Olympia now for so long, maybe the lines are starting to blare a bit. I think so. I mean, on a very superficial note, if you watch a super old video, the voice is so much higher. Welcome to episode 11 of This Wine Tastes Like It's Previously Been Digested. That speaks to how I, th I, I would have considered something had to have be, been done a certain way. But like it got to a point where I was like, I don't really fucking give a shit. You use it differently because like Wendigo, obviously, that's literally a character because yeah. it's like a script, isn't it? But then I'll borrow certain aspects. I think it's just as it's like a f friskier version. <laughs> You're good with money, or at least better than Olympia is. No tea, no shades. I would like to think I'm good with money. That's so interesting, actually, because I think we've switched roles. <laughs> <laughs> what? I used to be horrible with money, yes. and you were very, very careful. And now yes. you just buy shit endlessly, and I tell you not to. It doesn't mean that I'm not good with money. We've. You can, you can spend money and still be aware of like what your balance is. A Freaky Friday. Oh, I'm like the Crypt Keeper! <laughs> but I'll reiterate I'm... this, we earn the same money because we have the same yes. business. So I know what you fucking earn. We aren't going to be leaving an inheritance to another generation. We're not having children. So I just in, enjoy the life that you have and enjoy the money that Especially you have. Especially if what you're purchasing, if the clothes you're purchasing are wildly inexpensive. <laughs> Some of it. Who are you? To, some of who are you to pass judgment? Some of it is garbage, though. You'll buy a T-shirt from like AliExpress, and you, it'll, be, it'll be pixelated. You remember? Yeah. <laughs> oh fuck! Not even on, on the fucking market stall in EastEnders would carry some of this shit you bring home. You hide your profound feeling of insecurity under a fake sense of grandiosity. What does that mean? Well, you tell me. I don't know. Are you super insecure, but you pretend you, you're very lavish and extravagant to try and hide the fact that I you... I don't think I'm extravagant at all. If anyone sees... What? Me Look at the state of you. 
Yeah, but then you can say that about any person who does drag, surely. Well, yeah. Well, there's a certain amount of drag. People describe it as being like a superhero cape because you put it on and you feel like you can conquer the world, which, yeah, I suppose for a while you kind of like, this person takes over so that you feel like a fake sense of confidence and after a while you learn to just do it without kind of thing. I felt like a lot of people would, would agree with that, but... I don't feel insecure about anything really anymore. I'm sorry, I wasn't listening. I was busy reading some more of these. You've just given me an insecurity. <laughs> the only thing I do have is the Truman Show complex. Get one of those New Elk rotaries. I don't really have Truman Show complex. It's I when, don't know what it, that... It's when people think that they're, they're, they're in, a movie or in a film or a TV show. Main character complex. I don't think it's the same thing. But I but think like, I'm the main character that... out of us. That's not a complex though. That's just, you know, you look at the merch sale. Just, just, right. I assume that you were that child who ran about at school break times galloping, pretending to be a horse. Or a unicorn, similar. <laughs> similar. Um, I don't recall ever galloping like a horse. I don't did, recall did ever being into horse. That? Yeah. I had like, I was a Pokemon trainer or like a Digimon tamer or something like that. Oh, that's so sad. That would more be my thing. But you didn't love horses, <laughs> best of all the animals. They are my friends. Max Demp says, like me, your sense of humor comes from a place of sadness. God, yours were really dark. Mine were quite yeah, light. Yeah, a lot of mine were dark. Right. Well, yeah, uh, I don't necessarily know if it's sad, sadness. It's, I, it, was cer it was certainly a defense mechanism. Yeah, I was just gonna say. Um, because I had a horrible, school experience as most queer people do have that's why you know you kind of queer people are sort of operate on a slightly different level because they can mm. sort of see the world for <clears throat> the hideousness that it is and then you just end up making fun of, of the whole human experience because it's fucking ridiculous i guess sadness because it, it well not really it's more of a defense more of a defense thing which has just stuck around and now it's done me quite well i think I've got one here, which <laughs> I think is the best compliment ever. And this is, this applies to both of us. You always clear the table after yourself, after having eaten at a cafe or a fast food place. <laughs> yes. And I think that's quite important because we do do that. Yes. If you're in a fast food place and you've got a tray. Oh yeah, for sure. It. If it's like McDonald's or something and you just like tip and it in the bin and then stack it, then do that. So, and those people that, that the wage is so astronomically low for the amount of work they do and you can't just put the shit yeah. in the bin and just put the tray on. Like how fucking difficult is that to do? And then as an extension of that, just be nice to the fucking waiters in a restaurant. I can't stand that. Stop putting napkins and sugar rings sugar rings. sugar um like the oh. paper packets into wet cups and all those latte glasses Ew. because somebody has to fish that physically out physically get them out yeah don't and do that and it's really annoying if we're going to end on something though that's nice i think be considerate if you're in some sort of food venue yeah because people have to work there and then oh there's nothing worse and people say they get paid to do it don't they yeah, but you still can make it easier for another person. And also, get like, the chances are, if you're in the UK, or especially America, they do not get paid enough. Thank you for watching. I think that was really interesting, actually. I think we had some good chat. I feel like I'm a changed woman. Good chat. So I think social media is going to be on the screen now, if you'd like to follow us. Um, especially because this was an Instagram kind of video related. Yeah. And our Instagrams are right here. That would be if, you know, we do a sequel or something, then you can get in the scoop on this. Instagram. If you follow us, us on, Instagram. on Instagram. Shout out Instagram. <laughs> we loved that. Also, there's going to be a message afterwards about joining the Patron. If you'd like to, head over there and get on Patreon. Yeah. <laughs> what? We should come up with new sounds for Patreon sounds. What could it be? Well, oh, no. Yours took so... Think of something. No. Okay. I'm going to think of one and then you'll think of one for the no, Patreon scan. No, you would be fine at this. Okay, so... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, oh, no, hang on a second. Oh, right. Oh. Um. <clears throat> Every sound's been made before. <laughs> Every sound's been made. Like, people have made them all. The sounds. Let's just keep it the same. No, I really want a new one now. I'm excited. Ow! No, you've done that. You've already done that one. It took us five months for you to come up with that. No, I thought we did Ready? Oh, and join the Patron. Honk, honk!
For some Patron birthdays that we've got to do. Oh, some of those guys over there get birthday shout outs. So for November 12th, this is a special one um, because um, when there was like a new join, it was just after the date sort of situation. But anyway, this, I think this is a surprise this one. Um, happy birthday to Kirk Peter Baker. Happy birthday, Kirk. Happy birthday, doll. Thanks for being with us. Um, for the 17th, we've got these two here. Uh, Freddie and Diana. Happy birthday for 17th. For November, November 17th. Happy birthday, dolls. For November 24th, we've got Andy with an I and Logan. What? Happy birthday, Andy. Happy birthday, Logan. And then we've got one more over if you'd like to. It is Keith on uh, November 25th. Happy birthday, Keith. Happy birthday, doll. Nova's fucking chair is. It's because you're wearing leather. It's leather on leather. Oh. Me and leather. It's because I'm a dirty bastard in the boudoir, apparently. <laughs> And a Pope John Lennon to our brand new patrons Kat, Marius C, Alan Kingsley, Dumb Bitch, Reeve Antris, Caitlin Gledhill, Spooks the Ghost Lad, Eve Wallace, Chelsea Avril, Ross Kenny, Andrews the Actor, Mike Avo 90, Jonathan Yao, Grant Thornton, and Sophie Uvigenea Dope Fair Dear. What does that mean? Well, you tell me. I don't know. Are you super insecure, but you pretend you, you're very lavish and extravagant to try and hide the fact that you. I don't you... think I'm extravagant at all. If anyone sees what? that, look at the state of you. Join the Patron, we'll do a shot of Patron. Bobby and the most